Greetings, Marsh here, and welcome to episode 55 of my modded Factorio playthrough. In the last episode, we got transport drones delivering plastic to the bus here, and now that we have plastic, we can do some stuff with it. Most notably, making batteries, which is a great use of our sulfuric acid. And of course we want batteries, because that unlocks accumulators which is the other half of our efficient power system besides solar panels. Got to have accumulators too. We kind of want to get this started early because we're going to need a lot of accumulators, like a lot. <laughs> so we want to be building them constantly. So that just requires a little bit of iron and some batteries. So we'll grab those. And we can take that a step further and get these high capacity accumulators. I believe those are from Bob's. It's very similar in resource requirements. It looks like it might be slightly more efficient with iron, where uh, accumulator one requires two iron and five batteries, but then the high capacity one requires three iron and 10 batteries. So basically it has a capacity of twice as high. So the high capacity one holds 10 megajoules, while the regular one holds five. So there's really no reason not to get the big ones. They're just denser. And they also unlock fast accumulators and slow accumulators, and they're kind of edge use case accumulators, but basically a fast and a slow accumulator, they change the rate at which they uh, release their energy. So if you want an accumulator that drained its energy slower than the rest of the accumulators in your factory, or faster than the rest of them, uh, you could use those. I believe that's, that's how it works. Because if you look here how the fast accumulator has a maximum input of 600 kilowatts, an output of 600. Well, the fast one has a maximum input of 240, but then the output is 960. And then the slow one is it, input of 240 and the output of 30. So they have different uses depending on the application. But I'm here for the high capacity accumulators, just so um, they're denser. I think the construction time is similar. Yes, so it's 10 seconds for the regular one and 10 seconds for the high capacity. So actually we would be building them twice as fast per unit of stored energy by building the high capacity ones. So that's definitely worthwhile. There's a little bit more we can do with batteries. Like the vehicle batteries, we don't really have much of a use for them right now. Since our solar panels are kind of weak, but let's just research it to get it on there. Let's get rid of the upgrade there. And there's a couple other things on the technology tree we can research. We're kind of getting to the point to where a lot of this stuff is locked behind other technologies that isn't quite apparent on first glance. So you might say, hey, let's get heat pipes. We can build heat pipes because that unlocks the burner heat sources. And then you look at that and you're like, well, that requires invar plates. We're not that far away from making invar plates. So that's something we could research. But for the burner heat source to work, we also need to have heat exchangers, which require boiler three. And then you go to boiler three and it requires brass. And brass requires zinc and zinc is not something we produce. <laughs> so it's kind of an example of how you have to be really careful about what you research because very quickly you can do all this research, get all excited, then find out, oh, we can't make something. Another example is if we went through silicon processing, we can get advanced electronics and then get white circuit boards. And if you look at the requirements of white circuit boards, it's basically stuff we're already able to produce with the exception of silver. Now we can produce small amounts of silver if we want to. So you might think, hey, let's get white circuit boards because that would be great. We'd be able to build all these new machines with the white circuit boards. It's like, well, if you actually start clicking through the machines, let's do advanced chemistry here. See how it requires aluminum and brass, things we can't use or we can't make right now. So we would have went through the effort of making white circuit boards and we couldn't use it for anything. Or water treatment. You see, you see a trend. There are some things we could do with it. Uh, I think we could make electronics assembly machines. Yes, because that just requires steel. But kind of the, the, the point here is that even if we went down that upgrade path, we're not ready to really utilize it. And I'm trying to research things in a sensible order to where we can actually use the things we research as we research them. So 
that's kind of why the research tree kind of looks empty here. Or there's a lot of other technologies, for example, like coal processing, which I skipped because that just creates byproducts from other byproducts and it's not really a clean solution. Or lubricant, but that requires residual gas and residual gas is a byproduct which we can't make yet. So that's kind of a reason why a lot of these things are going unresearched, just because it kind of leads to a dead end at this point in the in the playthrough anyway. But there are a couple of technologies that we can kind of clear out just to make this list a little smaller, and especially because it doesn't unlock anything, means it's a good dead end research to get rid of. But one thing we can do are these fluid burning furnaces. They're just the fluid burning version of the solid fuel furnaces for making resources. Probably aren't going to really use these because we don't really have a reliable source of fuel right now, a liquid fuel. But we could quickly research them. Fill up the research queue and get them off the list here. We have to wait a little while for that stuff to research. In between episodes, I did upgrade the number of drones to plastic to 10 because I actually wanted to have a thousand capacity in here. I forgot that plastic bars stack in units of 100 instead of 200, so that requires 10 drones to make that happen. And I have been going around the factory upgrading most of the white belts to yellow belts just to unify everything and make it look uh, cleaner. Because we're kind of at the point where most setups will be slowed down by white belts. But it looks like we have a little bit of waiting here. But there's always things you can do in the factory that uh, avoid sitting around. There's always something to be done. Like placing more concrete. Got quite a bit of it at this point placed, but there's always room for more. Excellent. Well, let's just get the rest of these bricks placed, and then we could build some batteries. Okay, let's use Hell Mod and plan for some batteries here. Let's get rid of that. Hmm. I wonder why batteries are not on the list here. Well, I mean, it's listed here. I'm not sure why I couldn't search for that. So, what's the limiting factor on these batteries going to be? Well, let's do by factory and let's see. Let's put four machines there. It's probably going to be plastic. Because I think we're only producing plastic at around, yeah, two per second. Now we have a burst speed to go higher, but we're going to be building these batteries for a long time, so we're probably going to want to kind of match them in speed. Hmm, I'm kind of worried that's not enough plastic. But the problem with that setup is that it's really not meant for making plastic. We're just making plastic to get rid of the naphtha because we're almost full on mineral oil already, and the residuals warehouse is almost full as well. In part, the reason why it got so full so fast is because um, the balancing of the various Mad Clown processing is kind of weird, uh, unfortunately. You see here that we're producing 16.7 per second for the oil residuals to clean the oil sand, but then the actual oil processing only produces 1.7. So the Mad Clowns is just dumping these oil residuals on us, and we unfortunately can't do anything with them right now. The science to clean them up and turn them into something more useful is unlocked behind blue science. So it's just kind of this thing that we're stuck with now, and I'm kind of noticing that. I was looking at all the various Mad Clown ore processing, and all of it's kind of similar, where a lot of the processes give us these byproducts that we just can't do anything with right now. So it's a cool mod, but it seems like the balance is a little weird. But unfortunately, that means that I don't think we're going to be able to produce plastic all that fast with this setup, because it's almost clogged already. <laughs> so if we want more plastic, we might have to process it the more traditional way. But let's see, maybe we're limited on lead, too. So we can go to this setup here, and we're producing six lead ingots a second, so that'll be six plates per second. And we're making 3.5 with this many machines. Let's put six machines down. It'll use up all the plastic bars and most of the lead. 
and it's just an even number. Five would be a more appropriate number, really, but five is a weird number, so let's just make it six. And I believe we're going to want to put this on the bus, these batteries. Because they go into quite a few things. Accumulators for sure, but they go into robots. And laser rifle batteries. Laser turrets. They do go into things. So we're going to need six chemical plants for this. I think we've got some left over in here. One. Let's see, we've got some space down here, so let's make it down here. So let's space them out like this. Because that'll let us kind of put these pipes there. And stretch across. Let's see, we'll have the inputs coming around here. The output can go down the center. Looks like it's yellow inserter for everything here. The setup like that ought to work all right. So we need lead and plastic. Luckily, plastic is right here. Hmm, probably should have placed this one square lower. But I don't feel like moving the whole thing. So, I'll just squeeze it in there. We need room for the undergrounds right here. Now that that's done, we can get back to upgrading the character. Where's Lad? I think it's all the way down here because we haven't used it in quite a while. And now we need to get sulfuric acid here. That's going to be kind of tough because this is far away. It's kind of a job for drones, but... I don't know if I want to set up a road just for that. Probably the nearest sulfuric acid is up here. Let's go backwards. Let's see, I won't leave it connected for now. Looks like it skips two rows worth of belts here. There we go, mostly straight. And now with sulfuric acid, we should be getting batteries. Looks good. I wonder how quickly that's going to consume all of our sulfur here. It's not a bad thing, we definitely have an overload of, of it right now, so. There it goes. Oh man, look at that. It's really going through it now. I think we're going to be out of sulfur before too long. And that's it for this episode. On the next one, we're going to take those batteries and turn them into accumulators, which will be awesome for the electrical network. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.